Welcome back, everybody. So we're still down here in the sewer. And like I said, I put all three, well not all three, well, three that I have plugged in my inventory. So let's go through here. And actually this is where we use them. We use them on this door here. We need the night plug. But we can put these three in now just to get them out of our inventory so we don't have to worry about them later. So we just have to get the night plug and basically that's about it. Oh, there's Ada. Ada? I don't think I've introduced myself yet. My name's Leon. I'm with the RPD. I don't think she cares, Leon. It's a dead end. You think we can get upstairs through this shaft? Give me a boost. I'll go and check. Okay, so now we're in control of Ada. And the, uh, oh, she has a photo. Oh, check. Is that her and John? Change the camera angle. I like how she holds her gun sideways. Um, let's go down here. We have some shotgun shells. You don't have to get these, but... And in here, we have to make a bridge to get over to that side. Oh, yeah, and here's a... Sewage disposal map. So let's go down here. And yeah, we have to push these blocks. I just say blocks. We have to push these boxes uh, together. This really sucks doing it with Sherry. I'm so happy I have Ada. <laughs> what really sucks with Sherry is, I think, this scenario, whenever, you know, of course she doesn't have a gun. She's like a five year, eight year old girl. And you have to juke out them dogs. That is no fun. It's not so bad with the acid spitting zombies, but uh, whenever you're Sherry and you're trying to run away from the dogs. It's not even fair. And this is the fourth and final precinct key club. Yeah, so you'll see me, bitch, trying to do that. So I think I'm going to be playing Claire's scenario, first scenario next. You'll see another reason why I hate playing Claire's scenario. It's a certain weapon she has. <laughs> Leon, can you hear me? Ada, did you find anything? 
Right here. Think fast. Here's one more. Hey, I can't reach the ventilation hole. I'm going to have to find another way around. I'll catch up with you later. What? Ada, wait! All right, so she throws this stuff over to Leon, and now... We have it in our possession, so now we can go back up to the police station. To check out those locked doors. Only there's, I think there's only, there's three. There are two in the police station and one down here in the basement. Might as well go and get this herb then. I can get. I like to collect all, the, even though I'm planning on playing it on easy. I still like to collect all the healing stuff. This uh, red key card's for is to unlock some goodies. Actually, it's this armory. So here we are. We can get a couple handgun bullets here. Shotgun shells. Let's check out this locker here. There's a machine gun and a side pack. With a side pack, I can carry more items. Will you equip it? Uh, yeah, definitely a side pack. Yeah, so now we have these two extra slots here, which is awesome. And I'm actually just going to save the uh, machine gun for Claire. I usually don't. But why not? I'm usually just an asshole and take it. So let's go back upstairs. And uh, here's two or three doors this opens. No, I don't want an ink ribbon. 
Anything in these lockers? Yes. We'll find something nice in here. Right here. The strongest weapon in the game for Leon. Maybe in the game. Magnum. Yeah, the most powerful weapon. Poor guy. Yeah. Make sure you get that. Oh, why not? I'll get these two. Because we're not going to be coming through here again. Yeah, it was like pouring rain earlier today and I was sleeping. I got up at noon because I was up till four testing out a game and uh there's like a small lake in my house, uh, in my house, in my yard, and I left my windows down. I'm like afraid to go to see how drenched my car is inside. All right, so this is uh, last door. There's film too. All right, so this is like a fireplace here. Use the lighter. Lights it. Now we have to do. I think you turn the 12 on, then the 11 on, then the 13 on. No. So, so 12, 13, then 11. I knew the 12 was the first one. Okay, well, I could show you, um, I guess the pictures that the film develops. It's like all the way back in that save room. Why not? I'll do that and I'll show you something else they try to, they, they try to trick you with. Equip the shotgun. meet you back down to that save room. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, so the zombies actually go through uh, the room in the beginning where I saw the liquor for the first time since I didn't use the cord there, but um, the other place won't short out until, I guess, Claire's second scenario. That's film B. Something in a test tube. Film A. Code G human body experiment. Uh, well, I at least wanted to show, show those off. I like to show everything I possibly can in a game. Um, 
basically, if I have enough time, you know what, uh, I'll meet you back up on a third floor, well, in the library. Alright, we're on, we're in the library here, let's go out here. Back into the clock room. Now, you remember a few episodes ago, I used the crank here to lower these steps. Because without it, you won't be able to get up here. So, let's use the, uh, you see a, uh, yeah, the cogwheel's been sent. Let's use it. Yeah. All the gears are on it. Which moves this out. What's in here? The final plug, the night plug. There's an old dust chute. Yeah, we'll go down it. Sounds like Get away! What the An eyeball in his arm. Oh man, that does not look good. Well, we'll see what the hell happened to Ben. It looked like he was like I don't know, that thing. I guess, put something in his mouth, I don't know, that infected him or something, but we'll see what that's about in the next episode. This has been WBalls03. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.